Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury on the Poor Pluto channel. Today, guys, I'm doing a paid review, and this is for Joe in London. This is paid review 24QB10. Quick whist watch check. What am I wearing? I'm wearing two-tone bluesy, two-tone Rolex Submarina. This is steel and Gold, yellow gold, 18 carat. Uh, this is the two-tone bluesy. This is the 40 mil, 40 mil. It's got the gold writing. Absolutely love my bluesy. Guys, let's run the intro and then let's do this review for Joe in London. <laughs> Hello, guys. Archie Luxury on the Poor Pluto channel. And today, guys, we're doing a paid review for Joe in London. Let's jump straight in. This is paid review 24 QB10. Hi, Archie. I've been watching your channel for five years and thought now was a good time to ask for a review. I'm not precious and more than happy for you to be ultra critical of my choices. I am not, um, I am doing this for entertainment purposes and love the watches I have. I am not looking to expand much beyond this. Famous last words. I've been collecting since 2019 and bought a, so, and sold a few watches, e.g. a Rolex Explorer 1 214270 and a Rolex G Datejust Mint Fluted Motif Dial 41 mil. These watches, no, oh, fuck. Why would he get rid of those? Those are winner, winner, chicken fucking dinner. These watches never worked for me long term. So after having bought them new and owned them for a while, I sold them on at a very good time to do so. Yes, market completely changed. Different market now, buddy. Joe, it's a different fucking Market now, let me give you the drum. It is very fucking different now. Let's go through the watches. You can see them on the screen. Number one, he's got a Seamaster 2022. I bought this via the gray market at 3250 Great British pounds, 3250 GBP. Excellent condition back in March. I, uh, I since bought the deployant clasp and band from Omega for over $500, 500 pounds. Very pricey, but a must for me versus pin buckle it came with. I use this as an everyday beater and love the look and feel of it. I think this is a holiday watch and so robust. The rubber and clasp is so comfortable and it is amazing. It is, it is amazing value. Versus a submarina. I'd agree. But the submarinas, one thing about the marinas is they hold their value. They do hold. So, yeah, I get it. Okay. Oh, this guy's got no Rolex. He's got no Rolex. Fuck. Number two, we've got an Omega Speedmaster Hesalite on the new class 2024. I bought this via the grey at 47, 4,750 Great British Pounds. It had been worn once and was just a couple of months old. I had been eyeing this up since the new release and finally pulled the trigger in May. It needs no introduction. It is all, it's an all-time classic and Hesalite works so well aesthetically. Again, I view this as crazy value versus the detainer. Yeah, I agree. It is crazy value. Uh, but it's, 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 yeah, it is. It is crazy value. I agree. I agree. You got me. You're right. It's so comfortable and just a joy. I think the prices came down a bit since the white dial came out. It doesn't do anything for me in white as the dial in some shades looks washed out with less. Ah, look, I like the white. I think the white is beautiful. Um, 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, I got to tell you. Um, yeah. I got to tell you, it's fair point. The, the Speedy is a amazing piece. The Speedy is good. Speedy is very good. <clears throat> like speedy i think that's a nice <clears throat> those two pieces the seamaster and the speedy are a nice omega pair what have we got next next what is this what is this thing next we got a main ultra thin 39 mil i ordered this in december last year from maine and received today 735 great british pounds it's a micro brand from sweden it has a rare ETA 7001 manual wind movement and is 6.9 mils thick. The dial is mesmerizing and the quality of the overall watch is outstanding for the price. I sold a Tissot PRX to partially fund this and have no regrets. In particular, the butterfly clasp and bracelet are so robust. Ah, oh, fuck. What is this bullshit? I fucking hate it. Uh, thanks to Brexit, he had to pay 160 pounds in duty. Oh, fuck, that's a bitch. Duty is a bitch. I don't really like it. I don't like it. I'm sorry. I don't fucking like it. It's sort of a poor man's, poor man's paddock. They just. <sighs> Next piece moving along is another brand I can't fucking stand. Gerard Perrigay Laurietto, 2022. I bought this, fuck, for 10400 when the hype was crazy in May of 2022. Grey prices were around 15000 Fuck me dead. Since then, the value has tanked so badly that these watches on the grey, in my opinion, are crazy good value at around 8000 Fuck. Fuck. Uh, it hasn't worked out that way for me on this one, though I think the quality of the watch and the finishing is outstanding. This is the star of my collection, in my opinion, and enjoying where... Oh, fuck. How could you fucking enjoy that when you had a Datejust or an Explorer fucking one? Fuck. 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 Ah, uh, fuck. And finally, number five, Baltic HM, HMS 002 Silver 2023, 400 Great British Pounds. I bought this new from the store in London, a cracking French micro brand, and I highly fu fucking recommend. Ah, oh, fuck. I use this watch to wear when I'm very con uh, concerned about some parts of London. This might be a go good watch. Fuck. I bought it spontaneously because it stood out and the dial is special. Res reminds me. Ah, oh, it looks like a JLC master control. I get the vibe. Movement is automatic. Myota. Fucking it's garbage. It's fucking garbage. This is garbage. Fuck. Fuck. Very retro and French looking. Funny the crown pops out to change the date. Uh, but there is no date, of course. You might ask, why no Rolex? Yes, 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 yes. I have owned a couple and just found that they attract too much negative attention. Fuck. Fuck and just don't feel comfortable wearing them. I think they are outstanding watches, just not for me. And I hate the games and will not pay over list. You can see I need a box. I was looking at Rapport. What's your quick view on that? Well, I tell you what, you know, I don't mind the Rapport. Um, I have owned, I had a Rapport winder, which was actually really nice, nice quality. Um, Report is okay. I think also, you know, I like the Italian brand Skeleto del Tempo. Skeleta, Skeleta del Tempo. This is like a briefcase box here for eight watches. 
I thought this was really beautiful. I thought they're nice. Um, that's a nice, I, I like it. I like it. I don't have any problems with them. I like it. I do like them. So yeah, that's I, I like I like Skeleto del Tempo report. Reports okay. Reports okay. Yeah. The only thing is, if you've got fucking garbage, if you've got fucking garbage, why do you need a really good box? Why do you need a really good box? Many thanks and keep up the good work. Best regards, Joe. Please just re refer to me. Okay, Joe, that's fine. We didn't mention his name. So, Joe, fuck. I got to be totally, totally fucking honest with you and tell you that I am really disappointed. Disappointed. I like this review started so fucking well. It did. It started well. And it just went down the shitter. That's what happened, man. What the fuck went wrong? Man, no Rolex. I mean, I like the two Omegas. The Omegas are good. Um, man, I just feel, you know, it's just the Laurietta. Fuck, get out of that dog shit. Get out of that fucking dog shit brand. The Baltic. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Um, you know, get rid of the garbage. Less is, if, if you've got garbage, just doesn't work. The garbage doesn't work. The garbage doesn't work. I don't like the garbage. So if I were you, man, what I would do is I would seriously, I would say, why don't you get rid of the last three? I reckon a Zenith. A Zenith El Primero could be good. I would also say something Jega La Coutre. Why not get a Master Control? That's a fantastic watch. Don't get the Baltic lookalike. Get rid of the Gerard Perrigay and you can get a Master Control. The other thing would maybe be a Reverso. And another great watch for you. How about a Breguet? Throw a Breguet in there. Man, like a Breguet Type 20. That would really rock. That's what I would do. Second hand. You want to buy that second hand? I like the two Omegas. I do. I love the two Omegas. Nothing wrong with those in the least. But I really think get out of those last three. They're just fuck. They do less than nothing for me. And I think a nice... Rolex would be great in the collection as well. Explorer One, man, I don't understand. I don't understand. I love, uh, you know, what would I get? I would probably get Explorer Two. What do you think of that as an idea? Explorer Two. Um, please get out of that fucking Gerard Perrigay. Fuck. I mean, the Baltics just cheap garbage, and and the mean, the mean. Oh fuck. I'm sorry. Please, please don't take it badly, Joe. That is the advice. That's my advice, guys. That's the advice. Guys, please. I'm running out of paid reviews. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Please put some comments below here. I desperately need more paid reviews because I can't survive on Google Ads alone. And remember, if you're in America and you're buying or selling a Rolex, there's only one dealer I'd recommend. David SW. That's right. Let's run the ad, big boy. Hi, guys. It's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. 
go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW.